Hello everybody, good morning! It is Tuesday today, welcome to another vlog. Hello, if you're new here, I'm Becky. I was gonna say Becky Boom, but I feel like saying that on a vlog is a bit cringe compared to being on Twitch. I don't know why. But anyway, I've basically just woken up and the food shop's here. I've got HelloFresh coming soon as well, so it's a great day for food. So I thought, why not start off the Tuesday vlog um, with showing you what I got from Ocado. <laughs> we don't usually shop at Ocado, I was just feeling bougie today. Uh, <laughs> and they do super quick delivery and we needed food today because I was gonna go shopping yesterday but work is just so mental now that I literally don't know. I just can't find the time to ever go food shopping. So I need to switch back to shopping at Asda because it's cheaper. Not that much cheaper than Ocado though. It's a joke. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got at the shop. There, welcome to my kitchen cupboard, everybody. If you watch my streams, then um, you've probably seen this view before from my cooking streams. But right, anyway, let's go. So, first up, needed some more eggs. Have to always check that they are not cracked. Please don't be cracked. Stunning. I mean, what more could you expect from Ocado? I feel like they really check what they're doing. I feel mega fancy, I don't know why. Got some bacon, just because we always need bacon in this house for weekend breakfast. Frozen peas. Um, everyone just needs frozen peas, whether you've got a bad ankle or you're actually gonna eat frozen peas. Got some coffee for me, desperately in need. This was so cheap as well, so I literally just got the cheapest one. Um, don't I? What is this? I think it's my shower gel. I guess they put it in a separate bag so that, yeah. Oh no, it's this. Um, so that it doesn't explode. It's the cocoa butter. This is what we use on our tattoos. Thank God we've got that now. I've still got mine in its, uh, well, different wrap uh, since when I was tattooed, but it's all covered up still um, until this evening when I will shower and wash all the stuff off. Also got some Savlon for tattoo and some new shower gel. I basically just got all the cheapest stuff I could find. <laughs> Andrew's monster. Gotta be done, he needs that in his life. I'm gonna bring the bags over here, it makes a bit more sense. Crisps, I love the baked walkers, they are so good, addictive. Um, and chocolate bars, of course. Tuna and bread. A staple in the home. It's so good as well with Ocado. They give you bags, but then when you order from them again, you can give them back and they give you 10p per bag. So I got 70p back on my order today. I also bought a massive milk, which I kind of didn't mean to do, but it's literally only two of us living here. <laughs> but maybe we'll have some guests. Um, cheese. Oh, I got some chicken. Falola. I tried to get frozen chicken because that's what I normally get for her, but they didn't do it. It's too bougie. It's no, frozen chicken is the opposite of bougie. It's too cheap for them. <laughs> Had to get regular chicken. I got some peppers. What else? Oh, creme fraiche for, basically I'm just having that tuna meal that you might have seen in last week's vlog every single day because it's great. Last bag. Oh yeah. I got a little uh, variety pack of crinkies, crispies, corn cocktail, baked ones, and then cleaning products because I ran out some sift for the bathroom <laughs> and floor cleaner, which I go through a lot of because of a dog. So that's it. All right, now I just have to put all this stuff away and then, what is the time? It is 7.22, so I'm gonna walk Lola after this because then that's done for the day and then um, I wanna get a little workout in as well and then maybe run at lunchtime. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I don't wanna go too crazy. We'll see. That was meant to be a farmer's carry. I've never done that before. I don't know half of these things that I'm doing, to be honest. Oh, hi, you're back in my cupboard again. But 
Um, eat food. Dinners. Food. I just fed Lola and she is not eating. Uh, but anyway, yes. HelloFresh has arrived. I'm very excited. Ooh, this one. Did I just show you my address? No. This one uh, is not sponsored or anything. Um, I have worked with them previously on Twitch, but not here. It's not sponsored. I bought this myself. I did have 30% off though, so I wanted to take advantage because I was sick of thinking of meals to have to cook. Um, because no one's got time for that. I have no time for that right now. And I wanted some new fresh meals to cook. Now that I'm back to eating meat again, I wanted to have some meaty recipes from HelloFresh that I've never had before. Because whenever I've had HelloFresh, I've always been a veggie. Well, pescatarian. Um, but this week, oh my goodness me, the recipes I have are, oh. We chose four different ones. Well, I say we, I just chose them and I knew Andrew was gonna like them. <laughs> Chipotle beef rigatoni with cheddar and spinach. I've got tomato and sausage risotto with pesto drizzle. Um, we've got, this is a veggie one. Mexican inspired beanie tostadas with guacamole and cheese. Had these before, they're really good. And the one we're gonna have tonight is fajita style whirlpool spaghetti with bell pepper, onion and cheese. Delicious. It's literally like little whirlpools. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna be making this on stream tonight because um, I usually do one cooking stream a week um, and it's so much easier with HelloFresh when I do cooking streams because then everything's laid out for me. I can talk about the recipe while cooking because that's what got me into it when I did the HelloFresh sponsorship on Twitch. Um, it got me into cooking on stream and it just made sense. Um, so that's what I'm doing. It's actually from this film called Elemental, which is in cinemas now, apparently. Never heard of it. It's a Disney Pixar one. Anyway, but yeah, so I'm very excited to make that later. Um, but that's it. I now need to find space in the fridge for all of these boxes of uh, bags. Um, they're actually not that big, so it should be fine. But our fridge is tiny. It's literally just this. Just little fridge, there is a lot of space in there though, so it should be fine. There's only two of us, so we don't need loads of food. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna unpack this now. this weather it's mental gross hello everyone it is now wednesday is it this day's uh, this week is going really fast i do not understand <laughs> um but yeah it's wednesday today uh, last night I did my Twitch stream um, for my HelloFresh cooking. That was oh, it was the fajita whirlpool spaghetti or something. It was so good. It was delicious. Oh my god, why is my wrist hurting already? Um, and uh, yeah, then literally played Tears of the Kingdom and went to bed at about half ten. Um, and then yeah, this morning I have walked the baby bear. She is currently under my seat. There she is. This is her sleepy time. Oh God, it won't focus. Sorry, I won't really focus because it's really dark in here. I've got the blind shut because 
it's hot today um, and our house gets so hot. I don't know if it's because it's a steel frame house so it gets hotter than other houses, I honestly don't know, or it just gets hot. <laughs> because I don't even think we have proper insulation in so I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, today is going to be very busy, I'm already working, it's 9 o'clock, um, I'm also looking at Amazon Prime deals though because it's Prime Day today. Um, so I think I'm going to get a ring doorbell because I've really wanted one for since we moved to this house, so like half a year, um, and I really want to get an espresso machine. I just don't know which one to get but when we went on holiday there was an espresso machine there and I used it every day it's just the nicest coffee my parents have got one um, and there's currently one on here there's either the Nespresso Virtue pop coffee machine which is 59 pounds which is normally a hundred pounds or there's this one which is way better value it's currently 99 pounds and the recommended retail price is 200 pounds so um, maybe I'll go for that one. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but I also want to get loads of like the Starbucks variety coffee capsules as well. That means, oh my god, I can get it tomorrow. I didn't want to get an espresso machine before we uh, did up the kitchen, but I just, this is like the perfect time with prime deals. Usually I don't ever find good prime deals, but I think these ones are really good unless the prices, unless there's some scam here somewhere where the prices actually are just like, the same and it just says recommend a retail price next to it. I don't know but I'm, I've am i been sucked in so <laughs> we'll see but I'm gonna have a little browse. Um, I don't properly start work until 10 so I'm kind of just doing bits here and there. I've got my coffee, delicious, and I had a bacon and egg sandwich for breakfast today. Really embracing the meat right now aren't I? Um, and yeah later on today I am so, I'm so excited. I haven't really thought about it too much yet but I'm literally I get to see spirit box tonight oh my god I'm going with quite a few friends actually I'm going with, with my friends Lee and Amy um, and Andrew obviously <laughs> um, and I think we're gonna go to Honest Burger before for food and then I've got uh, Joe and Jack coming later as well um, so I'll probably go for drinks at the hatchet um, so yeah I'm very excited I was meant to see spirit box when it was locked down and it was meant to be at the Fleece, which is like a 300 capacity venue. But obviously, lockdown couldn't go to anything. Um, and since then, they have blown up like massively. And now they're playing at SWX, which is way bigger. No, they're not. They're playing at the O2, which is even bigger. I'm, I wish it was SWX. I hate the O2. And it's sold out. They always oversell at the O2. It's horrible. So that'll be fun. But as long as I can see Courtney LaPlante, I'll be fine because I love her more than anything in this world. <laughs> her voice is amazing. She can scream, she can sing like no other. So I am so excited to see uh, Spirit Box later. I cannot wait. But first of all, I gotta go do some work. So I better go do that. I would really like to know how this is comfy. <laughs> Ignore my cables. How? She's literally under my seat. This is how she sleeps all day. Oh, she's stretch. <laughs> So it is lunchtime now and I'm, I'm going to try and make an omelette. I don't think I'm very good at doing this. I've just been on the treadmill, just done a little workout, um, so I am ready for food. But I don't want to eat too much for my lunch because we're going out for burgers later. So um, I want to save myself for a delicious burger. But yeah, I'm going to make a tuna and red onion omelette. But I don't know how it's gonna go. Like, is this too small? Yeah, that's probably that pan's too small. Is I, I don't know. I, that's what I cooked my bacon in earlier. Um, I just thought I'd uh, film for some moral support because, right? I know I need. Hang on, I'm gonna have to put you in the cupboard again. 
is there even room? Let's see. This is my best place to film. So, I need two eggs. Got two eggs. Uh, tables, two tablespoons of milk, dash of salt and pepper, filling of your choice. Well, I'm gonna have tuna. I'm gonna have tuna, John West tuna chunks in spring water. Um, I'm also going to have some cheese. Oh, my legs. I might put a tiny bit of creme fraiche with the tuna as well, just to make it a bit less fishy. Uh, but right. I need this to stir everything in. Oh yeah, the saucepan. Um, ooh, this is probably a good, mm, no, this one. Good sized omelette pan. I don't know, maybe. Last time I did this, I know it failed. I'm also bad at making pancakes, I just can't do it. Also having my daily monster because I can't live without it anymore. <laughs> it just gives me so much more energy and I only have one coffee a day. So, it's okay. I'm trying to tell myself that I know it's not good. And salt and pepper. Okay, so I'll just spray. I feel like I'm doing another stream again. Cooking stream. Onion is too spicy. Oh my god. Ugh. This is the ting like the what do you call it? Spiciest onion ever. These white bits are so spicy. Usually I don't get affected by onions. But I'm having a bad time. <laughs> I have made my omelette too fat. Oopsie. I mean, I don't think it looks that bad for a first attempt. Let me know. I mean, first attempt in years. Let me know. What do you think? I ripped it. Good morning, little bear. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Yay. Hello, everybody. It is now Thursday. Um, oh, I've got my little my little girl down there i look so pale this is ridiculous i even have bronzer on my face you cannot see it um but anyway uh yeah last night was amazing went and got burgers from honest burger with my friends lee and amy um which was the best beef burger i've had since not having beef for five years <laughs> um and yeah then we went to the hatchet which is a pub in bristol and met up with some other friends for a pint and then went into the venue saw loathe who were amazing you would have seen a bit, a bit of a clip last night i didn't want to put too much in because i don't want to get um copyrighted not that you can really hear what they're singing <laughs> the o2 is not the best venue for um sound the o2 i just hate the o2 it's a horrible venue in bristol i hate it the layout of it is horrible i don't know if anyone else has been there that watches my vlogs but it's horrible swx is the best venue in bristol 100 percent um but yeah then spirit box came on obviously they were amazing um her voice sounds exactly the same as it does on the actual like recordings she's just an incredible woman i want to be like her she is my role model 100 percent. her voice is insane i wish i could scream i want her to teach me how to scream <laughs> um but yeah it was amazing then we just came home for lola um and yeah then this morning um i went for a run i felt really sick afterwards though 
I think it was just the fact that I literally got out of bed and went for a run straight away. But it wasn't like a full on run again. It was four minutes running, one minute walking, five times. Um, and yeah, afterwards I just, I had to sit down for five minutes. I was like, I'm gonna be sick. I wasn't, it was fine. Then I took Lola for a walk um, and then started work. But then I've just got ready because it's our work summer party this evening. Um, so I'm gonna head into the office around half two i think um to so i mean i haven't been to the office in so long um so i am very excited to actually see everyone i just don't i can't really go in that much i can go in in the mornings but then i'm basically paying 10 pounds for a train for half a day it's just pointless um and if my team aren't also in then there's just no point in me going in really um and i get so distracted in the office environment wherever i'd work i get distracted uh, and I can't leave Lola for that long because Andrew doesn't work from home so I can't stay out that long but at least I'll see everyone this afternoon and this evening I think we're having drinks in the office and then going to lane 7 which is literally across the road from the office um, it's funny as well because where I used to work they're having their summer party today and I've still got friends that work there um, and they're going to the same place as us and I was like oh god that would be so awkward if I see my old boss but theirs is literally before us, so then we're in after them, so I won't see them. Um, but yeah, so we're doing lane seven, which is bowling, pool, stuff like that. I guess they have, oh, they do have food there. They have grabber machines as well, try and win a little a little toy. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've just been getting ready for that. It is nearly, well, it's half 12. I'm gonna have some food at one-ish, probably. I'm not really that hungry, but I need to have something. I really want a tuna sandwich or something like that. Um, and yeah, then I will head off on the train. I won't take my camera, but I'll film some bits on my phone. I know it's not the same as the camera because the quality on here is way better. But I'll film some bits on my phone of me going there. I've ch I'm charging up my book, <laughs> my Kindle, um, so that I can start reading that on the train as well because it's about an hour commute to Bath for me. Um, so yeah, I am very excited to see everyone later. Um, but yeah, better, better just get on with some more work for now. So I'll see you in a bit. had to go and get these from next door because I wasn't in yesterday also hello it is Friday today how are you doing um yeah I just had to go collect these does anyone else hate having to get parcels from neighbours I don't know why I hate it my neighbours are lovely <laughs> I just hate having to go next door and it is chucking it down right now so I have to literally walk two steps next door to get this in my massive raincoat well this is Andrew's and my <laughs> My neighbour was like, <clears throat> create your own furniture. I was like, what? Is she telling me to not shop at Amazon and make my own furniture? But this is what she thought it said on the back. Create your own furniture. Yes. Yeah. So, um, if you didn't know, yesterday and the day before, no, the day before that and the day before that, what is it? What is it? Oh, thanks. Um, was Prime Day. I've never bought anything from Prime Day before, but I thought I would this time because they actually had some really good deals on things that I've been wanting for a long time. We finally have a ring doorbell. I've never been so happy for a ring doorbell. Basically, we always miss when people are at the front door. We have a doorbell that works, but the doorbell like thing that you plug in makes a horrible humming noise, so we never have it turned on. Which 
defeats the point of having a doorbell. Um, so now we have this one which connects to your phone so you'll always know when someone's at the door and it has a little camera in it as well which is perfect. I've wanted one for ages. I think this was like £50 off or something which is really good. Oh, broke it now. And then, I mean this kind of gives away what my other thing is but I got some Nespresso pods. I think these were like £25 for three, no for 30 capsules. Um, I got Stormio Melo, Melozio <laughs> and Audacio. They're all different strengths of um, strong coffee. But yeah, so I got that. But I don't have a coffee machine, so why did I get that? Well, I wonder what's in this box. I'm so excited. So. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. oh yeah! I finally got an espresso virtuo. It was a hundred pounds off. Why the hell would I not get this? This is meant to be two hundred pounds. I got it for ninety nine, and it has a milk frother. I had to get this. I was going to wait until we had our new kitchen put in, but I feel like that offer doesn't come around very often so I got one <laughs> and I also got one of the trays that you put underneath with all the capsules in just a black one so I'll open that as well but yes I'm so excited so let me just <laughs> take off my coat and then I'll actually like open it properly because I really want a coffee I had a coffee this morning but nothing can compare nothing can compare to coffee machine coffee it's just not the same I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never been so excited. I love coffee so much. Okay, so I'm gonna open the tray first. I don't know where this is gonna go. I'm gonna have to make room somewhere. This is it. So well, it comes this way. So you just open it here and the capsules live in here. I think it's got room for 40 of them or something. Hang on. No, wait, surely. I just don't know math, but it holds enough. I don't know where to put you, so I'm just gonna have to take it out like this. But here's the milk frother. I'm gonna become a proper barista, guys. It's gonna be great. And then here is the coffee machine. This is so exciting. Yay! Oh my God, look how beautiful it is. I don't know how to use this so I really I'm gonna read the instructions properly and then I will show you a beautiful coffee. <laughs> okay so my coffee looks beautiful now I've just frothed up some milk. Oh God, I used to be so bad at this. So I did get taught how to do this when I used to work in a cafe. I'm not good at this. I know I'm not. I know you're meant to like, oh God. I really want to try and do some latte art guys. Maybe if you first do this to get all the milk in it and then the froth kind of happens here we go, this is going to be stunning, just you watch. <laughs> oh my god. That was not stunning. What is that? It's going to be beautiful, trust me. It's going to be beautiful. Oh yes. Oh my god, I can have this every day. Hello everyone, I'm just popping in here because I realised I didn't actually end the vlog properly uh, and I'm editing it right now on Monday morning. So um, yeah, I'm just signing off here, about to start a whole new vlog for the week again. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week. It's a long one, it's half an hour, who am I? Um, but yeah, it was mainly in my kitchen, but I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I will see you again next week. Goodbye.